Good morning. Well, time for work. Windscreen's frozen. spoke too soon but definitely got it the problem is obviously everyone else is ill but I've got man flu which some of you may know is a lot more drastic than all the other types of colds that they've got but I'm gonna summon the strength of YouTube and battle on and get a vlog made so, oh. <laughs> sorry, the house is a mess. I'm testing out my new green screen. That's better. <coughs> so, what I thought we'd do today is uh, take myself seriously with them. What I thought we'd do today is have a look around some of the local chateaus, the ones that are five, ten minutes from me. Um, cause I don't feel like renovating today or working. So I'll show you around something interesting hopefully. So just got to pull myself together. This one is Moss Chateau. This is our closest one. It's about two minutes up the road from us. Um, it's owned by the family Bouffranche, who built it and have owned it ever since. Um, our kind of local rumour is that this chateau is the Princess of Monaco, the little country hideout. Um, absolutely immaculately maintained. Um, no one's in there, no one's living in there most of the time, but we know when someone comes because there's floods of cars, Ferraris, Land Rovers, helicopters all arrive. Um, and obviously they all have a party or whatever they do, I don't know. Um, so yeah, amazing chateau, one of Annalise's favourite ones, 19th century. Um, the grounds are just absolutely impeccable, completely private, you can't go in it. Um, love to have a look around uh, but yeah that's our closest and that's our favourite so this one is Chateau Mornay and this is particularly special because it's a uh, Formula One driver who owns it again we don't know exactly who because they're bought as part of companies um, that's just kind of lo what's been said locally. It's built a full racetrack in the grounds, um, which is open to the public certain days. You can pay to go on there and have a race around or, um, in your own car. And again, that's something that when they have these open days, absolutely flooded with all these amazing sports cars and race cars, uh, jam packed. The chateau itself doesn't get much use, and it's more the grounds that are used. 
um, for the racing and stuff like that. But loads of events held there, so that's good that it's you know bringing me some money for the chateau as well. So that's the two closest chateaus to us. Um, only about five minutes down the road. We just want to give you a peek. Sorry, it's not a usual video. It's not very long. Just as soon as I'm feeling better, we'll get back on track. Hopefully, in the next few days. So, hope you enjoyed seeing that anyway. And um, I'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching.